In today's world, news is critical to everyone. Even in high school, students crave to be informed and want to know what's going on. So who provides the news for DGS? The Blueprint. But what is the Blueprint and what else do they do? Um, the DGS Blueprint is the school newspaper at Downers Grove South and we publish print newspapers and we also have an online newspaper. I'd have to say the Blueprint is the best attempt at DGS's, um, DGS's The Blueprint is the best attempt at recreating a real newspaper and giving students that want to do journalism or some kind of extra um, activity. But not all students crave to be informed. There are some students who are not interested in the news and do not give the Blueprint a fair shot at capturing their attention. But the Blueprint does a great job of catering to all audiences throughout the school. Some students just don't care about the news. What is the DGS Blueprint? Um, I think it's like a blueprint of some sort. What is the DGS Blueprint? Uh, I think it's just a news group, right? Sure. And then uh, what do they do? Um, they just write about news. The Blueprint is perceived throughout the school. Um, I'd say that some people definitely really enjoy it, while some others just don't really give us much chance to prove our worth and prove some. each person has something different to bring to the table, and some people just don't see that. The Blueprint started in 1976, but the Blueprint files only have articles dating back to 1985. But their job has always remained the same, to inform the student body. Combining video news, online articles, print newspapers, and numerous other strategies, the Blueprint staff really enjoy their duty. One of their favorite tasks is Distribution Day, distributing print newspapers throughout the whole school. And then make sure you let them know that one stack goes to the board, and one is for them. Make sure you have a lot. Not to help any students go up there. You want a blueprint? I got one, thank you. Oh, no problem. For sure. There you go. Thank you very much. And you. Okay. Thank you. Who watched one? Let's go. There we go. Who watched one? Let's go. Yeah. Loser. Come on, you guys. Come on, you guys. You can see on your faces. What was? You guys want to stay in four. Double power. Double power. The blueprint is set up like any other academic class, but with a more student-led approach. Mrs. Long, the blueprint advisor, does just that. Advises students, but does not tell them what to do. Like I said before, um, in normal academic class, you could say that the teacher is really more guiding you. While Ms. Long is very helpful, she likes to step back and let the students decide and kind of run the class. She, of course, is very involved, but the students have a bigger chunk of the class and we can be more independent and do what we want. Blueprint is different than a normal academic class because the class is actually student run. Miss Long uh, is the advisor, but I mean, she's kind of just there to check her ideas, to tell us what we can and cannot do. Um, but pretty much we get to make the decisions for ourselves and we get to create the product, which I think is really cool. And it also teaches you how to be independent because it's student run and you learn all those fun things like responsibility, time management, um, and how to work with others. Although the Blueprint is a normal academic class, sometimes it can be far from normal. Filled with people rushing around, trying to meet deadlines, creating an authentic newsroom feel. Oh my gosh, a typical day in Blueprint is like 20 different things happening at once. You might have a group 
filming, you might have a group discussing, a group putting together an article, you know, everyone just has their own project that they get to work on. I think it's really cool, like, to if you were to just sit in, like, you would really see how many different things are happening at once in each Blueprint, in every day of Blueprint, which I think is really cool. Typical day in class. Um, I'd say it's mostly just it's either hectic or just really quiet. Like, we're either brainstorming ideas or we're trying to get interviews, trying to, each person's doing their own thing. So, really, a lot of us are working and a lot of us are trying to get our stuff done. So, it's one side of the spectrum or the other, hectic or really conservative. Um, the atmosphere in Blueprint, for the most part, is really loud. It's chaotic and it feels like a real newsroom and so you walk in it looks like people are not working um, because there's a group over there and there's a group over there and then someone's like filming something and it just it doesn't look like a regular classroom it's like organized chaos the blueprint has 23 members not counting the freelance writers who are not in the actual class but still write for the publication many of these members go above and beyond the call of duty Many members stay in their lunch every day finishing up stories, editing videos, and transcribing interviews. At home, during their free time, students finish up writing opinion pieces, editing other members' stories, and many other tasks. Blueprint members put in hours of work, but it's all worth it in the end. To them, Blueprint is more than a class. It's an opportunity to make a difference in their school and community. Blueprint members use their platform to inform the school and community, as well as voice their opinions on current issues that affect those around them. My favorite part of the Blueprint is how independent you can be and how much you can choose to write. It's, the teacher isn't holding your hand, really. It's really just you. You have to, of course, see, um, check in with her, but it's really independent. Uh, my favorite part of Blueprint is watching the students go through the process of brainstorming to writing to editing to executing uh, a final product. My favorite part of the Blueprint is everyone in the class works together and puts in um, equal effort and then we get to create this giant masterpiece that the whole entire school gets to read. The students in Blueprint learn so many more things than one would think. They learn how to meet deadlines, work with others, and numerous writing strategies. But more importantly, they learn many life skills, how to voice their opinions, work with a team for a common goal, and how to express themselves through writing and creating videos. Students also enjoy themselves in the process. Blueprint members really enjoy Distribution Day because it's when they get to show their finished product. But in the end, it's about the people they meet, the connections they make, and the lifelong friends that they will have forever. I hope that my students take away um, the idea of collaboration from Blueprint, that they can work with anyone and take on different roles, either as a leader or um, as a follower, and be able to execute whatever sort of project. How has the Blueprint changed me? Um, definitely, I've become more um, confident in my writing. I usually would go to the teacher. I would, before making a mistake, I would go and clarify. When now I just try to correct the error myself and I don't even think about making a mistake. I just want to go out there and do the best I can. Being a part of Blueprint has given me an outlet to speak my passions and my opinions. Um, I took journalistic expression as a junior and one of the pieces of writing that, or one of the piece of writing that I've ever been most proud of was actually created in that class because it was a column about my mom who's a single parent and it argued that, you know, single parents can be successful in the way they raise their children. So from then on, I kind of realized that I do have a voice and through my articles, I can portray that voice and people are going to listen. 